Tonight, I'll be staying in Britain's most haunted hotel, apparently home to as many as 15 ghosts. Despite not being a believer in spirits, I'll be keeping an open mind to all possibilities. As I try to determine if ghosts are really among us. Right, I'm here in York where I'll be staying in a very famous haunted hotel. Yes, it's next door to a Greg's. Less spooky. And that's definitely not the main reason why I've chosen this place. Definitely not. Anyway, let's go get checked in. Let's see what it's like in there. It's supposedly got like 15 ghosts knocking about, so we'll see. Maybe it's a load of rubbish. Well, this is pretty spooky. Apparently, I'm right on the top floor. There's only four rooms here. So there's not, in theory, going to be many of us. And that's where I am. Oh God, that looks very daunting. Oh God. <laughs> the Minster Suite. Huh? This is mental. So we've got our own little lounge with some random bloke on the wall. Lovely mirror, pineapple light, a chair, some more chairs. I mean, there's only one of me, but I'll try and make use of all of them. A 16th century fan. Biscoff. I'll be having them, thank you. This is just the lounge. There's like three rooms in this one room. Let's go into the bathroom. This is nice. Is this a light or an emergency cord? Don't know, but let's find out. Please don't be an emergency cord. Oh God, that might be an emergency cord. No, it's not, it's a light. I'm a genius. What a nice bathroom this, isn't it? Walking shower. More mirrors, I can watch myself. Shower, look at my naked body. Plenty of toilet roll, pretty decent. Onto the bedroom. The guy said to me it's very royal. I can see what he means. I never understand these bedposts at all. Completely pointless. Just have a bed. Why is there a second roof? I'm already indoors, what's this? What is this doing? Yeah, of course, it comes with a creepy wardrobe. It had to, didn't it? It had to come with a creepy wardrobe and something hanging out there, which is freaking me out for some reason. Another chair, as if we didn't have enough chairs. And a mirror. I can even watch myself sleeping. Or maybe that's where you see the ghosts appear, I don't know. Could not tell you what that is. It looks like a big spoon or something. Fireplace, probably won't need that. Probably doesn't even work, does it? Just for the look. There's always a fireplace in haunted houses, isn't there? It's the same with this decor. It's always the same in haunted houses. You never see a haunted house with granite worktops and a kitchen island, do you? Doesn't happen, does not happen. It's always got like wood, wooden posts, creepy wardrobe, lots of mirrors so you can see things in them. Should I check under the bed? Okay, I think we are... Jesus, I would thought it was a face for a second. It's not, it's just a white sheet. We seem to be in the clear for now. So 15 ghosts supposedly in this place. There's only four rooms, so that's an average of nearly four ghosts per room if my maths is correct and this is the biggest room so we can safely say this probably has about five i don't know why but i'm even creeped out just by opening these drawers you never know what's going to pop out do you what is that oh it's it's a hairdryer not that spooky i mean thinking about it the last time i did a video where i went away somewhere i ended up getting ambushed by guys in balaclavas the time before that someone came into my room. It wouldn't even surprise me if a ghost or two popped out tonight. It wouldn't even surprise me at this point. I don't even like the fact that there's light coming from underneath that door. That's what this place does to you, it makes you question everything. Right, bed test. Yeah, feels like a bed. Too many cushions, they always overdo it with the cushions. What's the point? Who uses these? No one, it's just decorative. Bin it. Oh yeah, oh God, that's good. Very impressed. Oh, and I'll tell you what just, I've just realised. There's no door in this bedroom. So when I go to sleep tonight, I'm just going to be able to look to the side of me and see that dark corridor with a little light underneath it because there's no door or anything. I mean, that's just freaky, isn't it? I should also mention, I am hoping to go on a ghost walk tonight as well at like 8 o'clock at night. So it'll probably be dark by that point. I think that goes on for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm then going to come up here nine half nine it's gonna be pitch black creaky floors so yeah that's gonna be fun for now though i'm gonna take a little look around york see what's going on here see if it's haunted you can kind of see why they say york is supposed to be haunted sort of gothic looking and then the queen there before she died obviously pretty realistic actually for once yeah it's probably enough sightseeing i think food another one of york's haunted inns can't catch a break really can it york lots of haunted places i'm gonna go here See what's going on. Yeah, it's just a pub, really. Just a pub. Um, got an apple sizer. Got a burger on the way. Right, okay, just finished up there. Uh, it was all right. £16, though, for a drink and a burger. Pretty small burger, pretty small portion sizes. As for it being haunted, I mean, it's supposed to be the second most haunted place in York. 
didn't really feel it, it just dark, just dark at all. It's difficult to think a place is haunted when it's got, you know, pop music playing on in the background. It's not very haunted, that, is it? What's that sound? The radiator's coming on, isn't it? Don't say I'm gonna have that in the middle of the night, because that's not gonna help. Anyway, I'm kind of fueled up now, uh, because we have ghost hunting to come. Apparently that's gonna be at least an hour. And really, we should get our money back if we don't see one. That's how it should work here as well. I want my money back. 15 ghosts, if I don't see a single one. I mean, come on. Ghosts, where are you? No, can't see any. I've just realized I haven't looked inside the creepy wardrobes yet. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I assume that's coat hangers. It sort of looks open, but it's not. Why is it still making so much noise? Right, that's weird. Yeah, I don't like this place. Just went to brush my teeth um, before I go out for ghost hunting. You know, I've got to have clean teeth for ghosts. I think it's just the door closing. Thing is closed because everything's on an angle. Like the whole floor is sort of like on a tilt and it's a weird place. I just went to go brush my teeth. The tap with the word hot on it is producing cold water and the one with the, with the word cold on it is producing hot water. Despite them not being like that when I first arrived. Again, not sure what's happening but that does feel like something out of a horror movie. I don't know why that would be something out of a horror movie. Uh, why would a ghost do that? Oh, I've changed your taps round. What sort of ghost do I have knocking about? A plumber? Why would that be a thing? But, you know, again, this place makes you think these things. That's sort of my point. Which is why I'm gonna go and go do some ghost hunting and leave the, the ghosts to uh, have a couple of hours to themselves. Right, we're off to go do a ghost walk, whatever that means. I guess we're about to find out. Welcome to the truly evil city of York. Torturer, murderer, no adamant. No stand and deliver. Yo, yo, yo. Not 100% sure what's going on at the moment, but basically we talking a lot about dead people. Golden place. York's most haunted, but maybe of this haunted building altogether. A lot of us are off. Trips. Just flying. Head first. Straight through that close top window. Cuts himself to rivers on the way out. Falls to the street below. Breaks his neck. And then a truck runs over him. <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> He's been haunting that room ever since. If you want to get spooked, visit the police. If you want to get scared to death, book a room. Doors open and shut on their own, and I also guarantee not a wink of sleep. Right, so just done the ghost walk. Went on for about an hour and a half. Um, it sort of dragged on a little bit, to be honest. It was just sort of stories, quite sort of animatedly told by a guy. I'd say slightly disappointing. I don't want to be too harsh, but... Um, wasn't that scary, it was just sort of, they did lots of bad things in the old days and it created lots of ghosts and stuff. That's essentially it. One thing you did say is, the place I just so happen to be staying in tonight is the most haunted place in York apparently. Uh, he said definitely don't stay in the top floor, which of course I am. So yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's head back there now and see what's going on. Quick sweep of the room. Check under the bed. I think we're all right. Right, so we didn't see any ghosts on the ghost walk, uh, as expected, really. He basically, we went to like several different locations around the city. He told some stories. They weren't that spooky. I, I tuned out of pretty much all of them because they just went on a bit. Like, there's only so many times you can say sort of dead, naked body sliced in half, dragged through the streets, you know, stuff like that, jumped out of a window. There's only so many times you can hear that before it's like, all right, yeah, we get it, they died. A new body was chopped in half, yeah, we get it. You know, it gets a bit boring. Didn't give any evidence, didn't see any pictures, just talk, just talk about it. But yeah, good to get some fresh air. 
I don't usually have to pay £7.50 for it though. Also, while I was on the ghost walk, I got a call, a phone call which I missed, from a York number. So I was wondering if it was the hotel and something had happened, but they didn't call back. Maybe it's just a coincidence, I don't know, because I am obviously in York. But you know, the place hasn't sat a light, as far as I can tell. Everything's still here. Now it's just me in the room by myself. It's weird to think somebody died out of that window. Apparently a Canadian bloke jumped out the window or got pushed out the window and as he went out the window he then got hit by a truck or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's a Canadian bloke, what's he doing in York? This isn't recent by the way, I'm not talking about like 2012, I'm talking about like you know, 1200s probably or something, I don't know, tuned out. This is a bit of a, like a spooky and weird place, don't get me wrong. Like it is. A lot of it though can be explained. Okay, why do the doors shut by themselves? Well, because the floor's tilted. So like if you position the door in a certain place, the door naturally closes by itself because of the tilting of the room. That's that one explained. The wardrobe is a bit dodgy. I'll give you that. The wardrobe's a bit dodgy. It's partially open, but I can't fully open it. And if you do touch it, it starts making weird noises. That is a bit weird. While I wait for the ghosts to appear, I've decided to uh, get into the spooky spirit with some Halloween-based snacks. Pop dots. Maybe this will bring the ghosts out. So like an orange coating, dark chocolate sprinkles. So like a donut-based uh, centre. If I do die tonight, this will be the last thing I've ever eaten. I'm fine with that. I was just thinking, because it's not really that late yet, it's only quarter past ten. Should I put a film on? Like a scary film. Right, yeah, we're not doing that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I've got goosebumps. So I've just decided to start getting ready for the night. I haven't seen any ghosts yet, I don't know where they are. Obviously the night is still young. Also, how can you see a ghost? Because they're see-through, aren't they? How can you see a ghost? It doesn't make any sense. I'm starting to think this is a lot of nonsense. So I found some ghost stories about this place and thought I'd read them out to you. See what you think. Lady Alice Peckett, wife of John Peckett, who used to be the mayor of York and also the owner of the hotel. Many guests have reported seeing Alice wandering the corridors of the hotel, moving furniture around and walking up and down staircases in the small hours of the night. Other ghosts include a man known as One-Eyed Jack. Now, I like the sound of this. This is more like it. You're not going to get anywhere with Lady Alice Peckett. No one's remembering that name. One-Eyed Jack. Yes. Let's get him in there. Front and centre. This is your Loch Ness Monster. This is the one they should be using to market the place. One-Eyed Jack. People love that. Have like a little cardboard cutout of him as you walk in. Love it. One-Eyed Jack, who is often seen wearing a 16th to 17th century red coat. I like how they put It's either 16th or 17th. We haven't quite worked it out yet. You know, there's not been enough sightings yet for us to be able to determine the timeline of which he's come from. Carrying a pistol, it's a bit illegal. He's joined by a grumpy old man, also seen in the bottom bar, and by a young boy from Victorian times who was trampled to death by horses. Oh my god. It was even investigated by most haunted television programmer in 2005. And yes, I haven't seen a thing. Not a sausage. Just to be clear, ghosts, if you are out there, join me. Won't I jack? Where are you? Come on, mate, let's, let's come have a sit down. Let's do a little podcast. Maybe he's stuck in that wardrobe. So originally I was going to sleep with all the lights on, but then I thought, no, do you know what? I'm going to get into the spirit of it. So I've taken the big light off, just got a little lamp on at the moment, and things have got a lot spookier. <laughs> Ugh. I just like a nice night's sleep, to be honest. I'm knackered. I laugh if I just sleep all the way through because I'm so tired. Having said that, I can hear a lot of noise outside. People are sort of messing around. Youngsters, what they like. Right then, it's a good night for me. See you on the other side. Hopefully. Good night. <sighs> Morning. Uh, like eight o'clock. <sighs> what a night I've had. No, seriously, more than I have had, I fell asleep straight away. Yeah, okay, I woke up a couple of times, but went straight back to sleep. Had a great night. Not seen a ghost, not seen anything. Yeah, I get it, it's a bit anticlimactic, but I'm not going to sort of dramatise this video for the sake of it. Didn't feel particularly scared. Didn't see a ghost. So yeah, look, you know, it's a weird place, and, you know, pictures of, of this bloke don't exactly help. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Is it haunted? Is there a ghost knocking around? Or is it just good decor? There's nothing here. 